Hi, so in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do a really deep, really thorough foot massage without hurting your hands. There's a lot of techniques for how to get into the tissue and loosen up the foot with as little work from you as possible. It's always always good to use a hot towel or some sort of hot bath maybe before you get into the feet just to sort of make the work easier for you and always check in with your client about what it is that they want because they may not want to have really deep work on their feet other than that um, you also may want to have a little tool on hand to help you get into those deep deep parts without hurting your own fingers There's a lot of stretching and a lot of um, work with the ankles as well. So enjoy. Bye. Okay, so for this massage, just like the last, you're gonna go ahead and warm up the feet and get the oil all over. Now with this one, because you are gonna be doing some stretches, some deeper pressure, traction on the toes you want to have checked in with your clients to make sure that there's no injuries nothing that's chronic issues are going to be overly sensitive and you're always going to want to start to go kind of slow at the beginning warm everything up don't go deep right away but one important thing that you want to do is you want to stretch and the feet are actually a good place to be able to stretch the whole lower half of the body. So for this stretch, you want to grab onto the heel and then grab onto the ball of the foot with the other hand. And you're holding on here, doing a little traction, you're pulling, and it's actually going to go all the way up into the hip. And then you rotate in, holding the heel, rotating the whole leg so that the client's going to feel that all the way up into their hip joint. And then with this one, you're stretching more of the ankle, you may get to the knee, so you wanna have made sure they don't have any knee issues. You're putting your fingers along the ball of the foot. You have your hands shaped like this. This is really important for most things with the feet for deep pressure. This is how you stop from hurting your own thumb or your fingers. You wanna have your wrist be pretty straight. You wanna have your fingers in this sort of U shape. And then you're doing most of your motion from higher up, from your elbow, from your whole torso, your whole body, and not using your wrist and your thumb to do this. Because as much as you're gonna do this at points for the effleurage, for the deep pressure, you wanna go like this and have the force come from higher up instead of right from your thumb joint. So you have those two U's here and you're twisting the foot and holding, and then twisting the other way, and holding, so that's stretching the ankle, the shins, and then at the very top of the foot on the ball, you take your fist, push it, can you some fair amount of pressure here with most people, it's gonna be a really good stretch for the calf, and then you bring it down, and stretch this way, which is a great stretch for the shins. using kind of circular repetitive motions up and down the foot getting the blood pumping getting the muscles loosened up a little bit one good thing for giving good pressure again is you're gonna take the ball of your palm of your hands and you're gonna use that to do pressure circular motions through the foot especially on the heel up and through the ball you can use your other hand on the other side so you can get even more pressure. Always being careful of your wrist, always being careful of your posture so that your whole body is in alignment and you're not just using your shoulder. And then again, just like with the other massage, you're gonna do a lot of spreading along the ball of the foot you can do a lot of pressure, squeezing the heel, 
Now, some people have really dense feet. Some people can do really, really deep pressure on their feet and they prefer that. It's gonna be therapeutic for people who are wearing high heels all the time. Their feet need serious massages. So if you don't wanna hurt your hand and you're worried about that, you can always use something like this. It's just like um, a little piece of jade that you actually use for a face massage that I use for feet sometimes, just so that I'm not having to do all the pressure with my fingers. You can get in there. It's cool too, so that usually feels good. On the feet. And if you wanna get really luxurious, and you have the time and the energy, it can be a stone that you warm up in hot water and then you're kind of doing like a hot stone massage on the feet that feels amazing. I also do warm towels, so of course always. If you can get a hot towel, just like pour some hot water on it, get it damp, wrap the feet up at first or at the end. It's really nice to have it on hand to wipe off that oil on the feet at the very end. So I'm using this to get into some of those spots that are really crunchy. And then I'm doing some friction through there. You want to do either friction or circular motions. And you're checking in with the client the whole time. Alternating back and forth. Really getting in there. As you feel the tissue loosen up, you can go harder. And then with the toes, you can do traction where you're basically pulling and the key is to get the toe in between your first and second fingers. And you can catch the knuckle, the little knuckle joint there and give some good traction. If you're lucky, you'll get a little pop. And then you know that you really made an impact. Don't forget the little toe, especially for people who are wearing high heels or fancy work shoes all the time. The little toe is usually the one that takes most of the, the punishment. I had a woman who was in her 80s who was wearing high heels her whole life and ended up with a tiny baby toe that was really warped. And it felt really good to get that massaged. Loosen that up, undo some of that that they may have developed. And then of course, you wanna do deep pressure on the heel, because the heel will have taken a lot of work, a lot of pressure. Up the side and spreading. Don't forget the ankle. Don't forget the sides. Again, you're using that U shape. You're pulling, milking the heel. And then you really don't want to forget the very top of the foot. It's the tendons in between. each of your toe bones. And you can always go back and do the stretches again after you've loosened the foot up a little bit and you feel like it could be even more productive. And then at the very end, once you've gotten through the whole foot several times and you feel like you really helped with the tension, you can help the person shake it out. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the balls, your palms of your hands on either side of the ankle and you shake it back and forth. And you can get a lot of motion through that ankle, shakes out some of that extra tension, move up to the foot, back down, and you're done. 
And then again, it's really nice if you have a hot towel, you can wipe that oil off. Or you can wrap it up while you work on the other foot.